or you're in a bad marriage or you drink too much, or you're overweight. All of these problems are driven by behavior. Those behaviors are all driven by thinking. Every single problem that you have in your life right now starts with a thought. really interested to, see, to hear what Brad has to say about uh, the changes that he's made and the, the, the things that you've done, Brad, that have, I think you've said changed your life, right? Completely. Yeah. So, so let's touch on mindset really quick. Cause I think that's a misnomer. A lot of times um, I was on a call yesterday with a coach who teaches uh, people how to wholesale residential real estate. And he's like, you know, I've got a bunch of students that just aren't doing anything. Like I got to work on their mindset. You know, I got to put that into my, into my program. And I said, listen, Nathan, you can teach mindset all day long. And what is mindset? Like, you know, be more disciplined and, and uh, do affirmations and um, just think positive thoughts. And all, all of that stuff is, is like out the window because what's really happening is if you're not where you are in life or you're in a bad marriage or you drink too much, or you're overweight, all of these problems are driven by behavior. Those behaviors are all driven by thinking. So every single problem that you have in your life right now starts with a thought. Those thoughts are subconscious thoughts that were programmed from the third trimester when you're in your mother's womb till eight, nine, 10, 11 years old. They were programmed as a result of experiences that you went through in your life, mostly stressful, mostly when you didn't have control. You know, I'm trying not to word the, use the word trauma because it turns a lot of people off because they're like, well, I didn't have trauma. And I'm like, uh, yeah, you did. Everyone <laughs> trauma, has trauma. trauma. Trauma isn't being raped or locked in a cage. Trauma can be as benign as your little sister comes home from the hospital from being born and you feel your parents love her more than you. And that creates a meth addict when he's 22 years old. That can be trauma. Mm -hmm. So these thoughts are our, our brain's programming of a coping mechanism to get through that stressful situation. Your beautiful brain is doing exactly what it should. You're six years old, something bad happens to a six-year-old. What does a six-year-old say to get through it? I must be bad. That's what I said when my dad would hit me. I must be bad, something's wrong with me. So that was actually helpful. It helped me process and get through that when he hit me. At 47 years old, when my subconscious brain is still telling me I'm bad, it doesn't serve me. What does it end up? What does it end up in? It ends up with me drinking to feel more comfortable, smoking marijuana to feel more comfortable, uh, two failed marriages, uh, five business mistakes that cost me nine million dollars, and I could go on and on and on and on. So, people, when you have problems in your life and you're like, I don't understand why I get so mad at my kids. I don't understand why I get so mad when my wife does this. I don't understand why in business I'm trying to do 10 different things and my business has chaos. I don't know why when I come home, I have to drink two glasses of wine or light up that joint. So anyway, every single problem you have in your life can be traced back to your subconscious mind dictating the behavior. And the crazy thing is you don't even know it, right? I didn't know until I did my work and looked back on why did I buy a 42 foot boat and decide to go to the Bahamas when I didn't even know about boating. My, I didn't wake up one day and be like, hey, let's get a boat and then the world will think I'm worthy. No, my subconscious brain drove me to that. Those five business mistakes that cost me $9 million. I didn't wake up and say, I'm going to do this. So if you're struggling in life, you've got to go back and look at what happened to you when, you, when your brain was programmed. And, and you can change everything because guess what? You weren't born an alcoholic. You weren't born someone with depression. You weren't born someone with, with anxiety. You formed those things. They were learned behavior. And if you learned them, guess what? You can unlearn them. <music>